Are you trying to decide what the best diet plan for you is? I'm sure you have heard of Keto, Paleo, Atkins, Dubrose, Vegan, and Pescatarian. However, the million dollar question is, what one works the best? Be sure to watch the entire video as we dissect each diet so you can determine what plan you can utilize for the rest of your life. How can I lose weight, you might wonder. Millions of people worldwide have pondered this subject over time. According to a recent poll, almost one out of every five people over the age of 20 reported following a precise food plan on any given day. A weight reduction or low calorie diet was the most popular diet among research participants, followed by a diabetes management diet, a low carb diet, and a low fat or low cholesterol diet. However, there are many distinct programs to select from, making it challenging to pick the right one even among these few alternatives. After all, there is no such thing as a perfect method that will work for everyone. It's crucial to self-evaluate and ask yourself some questions before deciding on a health or weight loss strategy. What are you willing to put up in the long run? Today, several diet regimens on the market promote optimum health. The trick is to choose one that does not cause you any anxiety or distress. Consider the following questions. Would you be happier if you followed the diet guidelines? Anxious? Stressed? Are you able to work with them for an extended period of time? A variety of factors such as enjoyment, flexibility, and lifespan should be considered. This might be a problem if the diet is intended to be a quick fix rather than a long-term lifestyle change. Extreme diets, especially those that promise rapid weight loss, are rarely sustainable, and if you feel deprived, you may binge or overeat. Consider if you can stick to the diet's guidelines for the rest of your life, not just for the first 21 or 30 days. Which diet program is the healthiest for you? Diets like the MIND diet and the DASH diet are designed to focus on specific aspects of health, with weight loss as a bonus. Others are made with the primary purpose of weight loss in mind. It's crucial to remember that we're all significantly different people. We all have varied health situations and habits, influencing which diet plan is ideal for us. That implies you should focus on what works for you rather than your friends or family members. Many diet regimens exclude whole food categories, resulting in nutritional deficits and health issues. If you have type 1 or type 2 diabetes, for example, and the diet is deficient in carbs, it's generally not a good fit. It's also not a great idea if it's overly restricting and you're pregnant or nursing. Remember that pregnancy is not the time to lose weight. If you're pregnant or breastfeeding, talk to your doctor before making any dietary changes. Is it safe for you to follow the diet plan? Before starting a new diet, be sure it's been thoroughly researched for safety and talk to your doctor or a qualified dietitian about any modifications. Also, conduct a self-evaluation to ensure that the diet aligns with your personal beliefs and interests. Are you not a big fan of meat? Then stay away from the paleo diet. Do you travel frequently and dine out often? The DASH diet may be a source of frustration for you. The essential takeaway is that the diet you choose must be both safe and effective and take into account your unique circumstances. Popular diet plans that are scientifically supported. The Keto Diet. The ketogenic diet, or keto, is a low-carb, high-fat, high-protein fad diet that causes the body to enter ketosis, a condition in which fat is used for energy. According to a study, the ketogenic or keto diet can be an effective weight loss technique but if you want to be successful, you must adhere to the plan with no cheat days. Otherwise, you're just eating a high-fat diet that may be high in harmful fats for no reason. The keto diet is prevalent among patients with type 2 diabetes, but you should avoid it if you have type 1 diabetes or other metabolic abnormalities. One of the most challenging components of this diet is bread and other carbohydrate-rich foods are being phased out of the diet. Therefore, it may be challenging to stick to the recommended low-carbohydrate intake. This diet will almost definitely need extensive pre-planning and food transport to gatherings and events. 
Prepare for keto-related diarrhea and constipation, exhaustion, mood changes, migraines, foul breath, and some of the plan's other significant adverse effects. According to doctors, these symptoms are a frequent aspect of the so-called keto flu, which occurs when your body adjusts to using fat instead of carbohydrates for fuel. The Paleo Diet Many people feel that high-fat meat is at the heart of the paleo diet, but I believe that veggies are. The goal is to eat only foods our Paleolithic ancestors would have had access to, such as meat, fish, poultry, eggs, fruits, and vegetables. All grains, dairy, legumes, added sugar, and salt is forbidden. This eating habit needs a lot of meal preparation and planning. The diet may help individuals lose weight, but experts warn that it may also cause critical deficiencies, including calcium and vitamin D inadequacy. As a result, according to a new report, everyone at risk for osteoporosis should avoid it. The Atkins Diet This low-carb, high-protein diet has been around for decades. Even though the two popular low-carb diets are radically different, some argue that the keto diet is the new Atkins. According to the Atkins website, the Atkins diet is separated into phases, with the first allowing for a meager daily net carb allowance of around 20, 40, or 100 grams bringing you into ketosis. The amount of net carbs you must stay under is dictated by the plan you select. Unlike the keto diet, you're allowed to eat more carbs as you advance through the phases. In one study, researchers discovered that the Atkins diet, like the Weight Watchers eating plan, can result in moderate long-term weight loss. Because the diet is low in carbohydrates, it may not be suitable for those on insulin or those who have diabetes. And because it is rich in protein, it should be avoided by those with renal disease. DASH, or Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. Because the goal of the diet is to treat people with high blood pressure, low-sodium meals are recommended. However, considering that most Americans already consume too much salt, it's no wonder that dietitians recommend this way of eating for a range of health problems, including heart disease and obesity. The DASH diet, or Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension, focuses on minimizing salt intake while increasing fruit and vegetable consumption. People who followed the DASH diet had lower blood pressure and lower total body fat, according to a recent study. The DASH diet has also consistently ranked at the top in yearly rankings. Diet of the Dubros Try the Dubro diet, which was popularized by Terry and Heather Dubro, a husband and wife duo that popularized intermittent fasting. The 16-8 eating plan, which is intermittent fasting, requires you to fast for 16 hours and eat for 8. According to expert nutritionists, you will also restrict calories, fat, and carbohydrates during three periods, which may help you lose weight. This eating plan has the advantage of taking a whole foods approach, which means avoiding processed and packaged meals and refined carb sources and sweets in general. However, one disadvantage is that the diet restricts the consumption of beneficial complex carbohydrates. Vegan Raw Food Diet The raw vegan diet is a variant of the standard vegan diet that is more radical. According to a recent article, raw vegans do not eat any meals cooked over 118 degrees Fahrenheit, owing to the possibility of nutrients being lost during the typical cooking process. While the strictness of this diet might make it challenging to follow, it can provide the same health benefits as a vegan diet. Pescatarian Diet Vegetarians or vegans who consume fish are known as pescatarians. As your primary protein source, fish can bring a slew of health benefits, including a reduced risk of stroke and heart disease. Low FODMAP Diet The IBS diet, also known as the Low FODMAP Diet, limits fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides, polyols, or FODMAPs. These short-chain carbohydrates cause IBS symptoms because the gut has a hard time digesting them. So if you're looking for a good diet that might be perfect for you, you just can't choose any diet and hope that you will follow it. Every person is a different individual with different needs, so always go to a dietitian before trying new diets. Let us know your thoughts on these diet plans in the comments.